So we move on to race two of day three, or race number 37. The smaller the field, I'm going to test this two mile five furlong hurdle maiden. Number one is New World Horizon for Joshua Sutherland. Rainbow Italia for Marty Leadham is number two. Spars Corner for James Shea is number three. And Ozark setting for Vinnie Gerard is number four. From the family of Ozarks, he's got plenty of horses from that line. So the start is going to get us away from here. Just the four runners. Yeah, a nice little win to pick up here for someone. It's Joshua's New World Horizon that's gone off in the front, but, uh, being restrained. And the other three, Ozark setting, Sparse Corner and Rainbow Italia. I wonder if that was named after the Italians winning the European Championships this year. Not, but it's New World Horizon. Let them over the first of the 11 flights I have to take. It's settling down quite well now on New World Horizon. Skips over the second. Mozart setting Rainbow Italia in Spa's corner. Already single file. Losing sight of Jamie Shea's Spa's corner. But it's New World Horizon. Looking comfortable in the lead. Long way to go yet. the next nice big jump there. He's getting further further ahead this new world horizon. He's probably five, six lengths ahead of Ozark setting. Lost sight of Rainbow Italia and Spa's corner. New World Horizon takes a little bit of a hold as they come alongside the grandstand. And it seems to be a bit of a fight for second place between Rainbow Italia and Ozark setting. As they try and shorten New World Horizon's lead. So he doesn't want to go off too quick. As Josh mentions, he's really bred as a three miler, so you can imagine he's got a bit of stamina in him. But it is still New World Horizon. By about four or five to Rainbow Italia and Ozark set and newer together. The one that's really got caught for tote is Spar's Corner. James Shea Stable. So New World Horizon takes us along the back straight. Italia moves into second, third is Ozark setting. In Spa's corner, he does need to do a bit from where he is. So the grandstand will start to swing left handed. Still got another six flights to take. So let's hope there might be a little bit of action as they take those flights. So it's still New World Horizon. Right, just a couple now to Rainbow Italia and a couple back to Ozark setting. Spars corner. Not really at the races today. If he wins from there, I'll stop commentating. It's New World Horizon though. That's going to lead us over the next. Rainbow Italia. Good jump by Ozark setting. Almost draws alongside Rainbow Italia on the inside. Starting to lose sight of Spars corner. New World Horizon, been there since the beginning. He's seen left handed, just under a mile left to travel. And finally, straighten up for the judge. It's quite a long straight, five furlongs, as we see. Spars corner, really not in it today. It's still New World Horizon, by three now to Ozark setting and Rainbow Italia. They appear to be having their race of their own. Bend and line up for the judge. Dash to the line, so it's New World Horizon. Still by a couple of lengths from the pushed on Ozark setting. Rainbow Italia is also uh, trying to get going, so it's New World Horizon takes the eighth. Four from home, so it's New World Horizon from Ozark setting. Rainbow Italia. Spars corners well out of it. So New World Horizon starts to be pushed along. Jockey says go, whips out, gets to the ninth well, takes it well, nice big bold leap. So it's New World Horizon by about four. So Ozark setting and Rainbow Italia. It's making up a little bit of ground now as they go over from Ultimate. It's still New World Horizon, but Jockey's taking a bit of a rest now. He's had a quick look round. Inside the final quarter mile. Ozark setting is the only one 
trying to get back into this, but it's Newell Holder rising over the last. Rosark setting in second. Rainbow Italia in third. Spars corner in fourth. I think that's going to be a one, two, three, four. New World Horizons taking that comfortably. Those aren't setting trying to shorten the gap. Rainbow Italia in third. Very easy, comfortable win for Josh Sutherland there. As we wait to see Spar's corner. There he goes. So that's your four. Comfortable win for Josh Sutherland there. With New World Horizon. Those aren't setting for Vinny Gerard again up for second. Martin Leadham picking up an easy third there. A bit of prize money. And also James Shea in the Spars corner. Also picking up money in fourth place. I know he picked up the fifth place £200 that was available there. But anyway, let's move on to uh, 